interrupted by the break, but we can bring her back on if she's ready. I am. Perfect. <laughs> hey, Mary. Um, so Hi. I wanted to ask you, because I remember we spoke. I do remember our first conversation. So let's just backtrack and let's go to that moment. And sure. you had heard about uh, me through Alexandra Metters, and yes. you ha- had some serious issues going on. So what are some of the things that, that you've been dealing with and that's been going on in your life for a while now? Well, uh, it was I was diagnosed with severe asthma in January of 2011, and it had probably been going on a few years before that. But the last number of years have been... Uh, quite traumatic, trying to get myself uh, healed, <laughs> and I, I do go with um, the naturopathic route, but I also have my mainstream physicians for the asthma. Um, so in 2014, I went through six hospital visits at three different hospitals, and uh, that was January of 2014, right through to well, February of 2015, and uh, nobody could, none of them could uh, figure out why I was getting uh, pneumonia, which was exacerbating the asthma. When I, I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't move, I couldn't walk, I couldn't talk without catching, you know, having shortness of, of breath, which you heard if you remember on the on my first call with you. Yes. So. Um, so the, yeah, and so I saw your uh, the interview as I mentioned, and I got so excited and I gave you a call, and uh, I ordered uh, the DNA and uh, I think it was Life Energy you suggested for me at that point, and uh, it arrived uh, maybe a, a week later, and after maybe the second day after taking the DNA. I, I mean, I could, my energy lifted my, um, you know, I wasn't, I felt like, oh my gosh, I can, I can do some just ordinary tasks without, you know, (laughs) having difficulty breathing. So, and it continued to improve and, um, you know, people were noticing. Yeah. Bald is what you're speaking about. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> and now when but we I talk also... about – now here's what – this is the interesting thing is last hour we talked about German New Medicine, and I want to share this piece with you. But asthma can produce tremendous amount of fear, you know, because it's – you know, you're breathing. It's very yeah. – you know, oh, you, yeah. it, it can produce a lot of fear inside. And the death-fright conflict, according to German New Medicine, medicine, the death-fright conflict is the culprit or the proponent that brings on the lung issues like pneumonia. So okay. when you have when you have this conflict of uh, I'm afraid I'm going to die, it's the fear associated with that conflict that is the precursor to the pneumonia, according to the German New Medicine. So. I I just wanted to add that in there because it's I think it's an important piece to to uh to the puzzle. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah. Uh yeah, well because I certainly I mean I let's say I was all I almost lost my light well they the last hospital I was in for 2 months in 2014 into 15 uh literally they almost lost my life three times. So I was in a complete state of trauma and panic the whole time it was there. So yeah, that would click into what you just uh relayed about the uh death and fright conflict. Yep, that's true. And then, you know, being in a hospital can also be an existence conflict because, you know, that's there's there's these different conflicts. I mean, the hospital itself is is not really the place of you know <laughs> I where you feel safe because usually when you're there you know it's a lot of poking and prodding going on and <clears throat> you know research being done on mm-hmm. on patients and it's not much love and TLC from my perspective I've been in and out of there yeah. dozens of times so yeah I mean I have to thank the the handful of nurses and staff who were literally saved my life, got me through that particular episode. I mean, if it hadn't been for the few 
people who had their wits about them and had, you know, had a heart and soul. Yeah. Not only were they, <laughs> you know, I wouldn't be here. So I have a lot of people to be grateful to for all of this. But uh, I, I just thought it was amazing how the DNA Evolve just was that added um, element that needed that I needed to move forward. And I've since, of course, take uh, your other uh, products, the multivitamin and the magnesium and the uh, electrolyte multivitamin.